Today, we're going to talk about our nuts. Why? Because we don't need folks a twisting on something that's not meant to be a twisted on. All right, today's video is going to be a relatively short one. I just have a small tip that I want to share, and some of you guys might find this useful. Or you might not, but you might. Most drummers know what memory locks are. Memory locks are basically small clamps attached to your cymbal stands or other parts of your hardware. Once the stand is disassembled, the lock makes it easy to get the stand back in the same position. Unfortunately, most companies don't make locks for everything. Depending on the brand you play, most often you can't lock a cymbal tilter. Same thing with the snare drum tilter. And most tom adjustment arms can't be locked as well. So why is this a problem? Well, as long as you're the only one handling your drums, then it's not a problem. But what if you find yourself in a situation where someone offers to help? Sure, you could always just politely decline and do it all yourself. But it's nice to have some help, especially after you've played a show. For me personally, my career has gone through a lot of different stages. I started off as a metal drummer, then I became the drummer at the wrong gig, and now I'm the drummer without a gig. <laughs> now for me, I've had quite a few drum techs over the years. A drum tech is someone who sets up your drums so that you don't have to do it. Or at the very least, it's someone who helps. Now, this might not seem important to you because you may not have a drum tech. However, let's say that you have a chance to play at a festival where there's multiple acts. In this situation, you may be given a few stage hands to help you out. It's important to point out stage hands are generally very well intentioned, but they don't know your gear. So they may disassemble something that you don't want disassembled. Let's say you've been experimenting with the angle of your ride cymbal and you finally have it exactly where you like it, and then a well-intentioned stagehand folds the tilter all the way down. He likely didn't do it on purpose. He's just trying to help you pack up. Same concern with your snare drum stand. You finally have it just perfect. Then your brand new drum tech walks up to you and says, Hey, dude, I folded up your snare drum stand and put it away. <laughs> So what's the solution? Hex nuts. I basically look at hex nuts as insurance. Worried about someone changing the angle of your snare drum stand by accident? Just pull off the wing nut and replace it with a hex nut. Grab a wrench and tighten it down. Done. It's not moving. Symbol tilter? Same thing. Just replace it with a hex nut. Now, I'm certainly not trying to imply that this is something that you need to do. However, I happen to be insanely OCD. If you take a closer look at my kit, you can see hex nuts scattered everywhere. Now, obviously, I'm using a drum rack, but you can do the same thing with cymbal stands if you feel the need to do so. Well, that's it, guys. I'm sure you get the idea. Anything with the wing nut can be replaced with a hex nut if you feel the need to do so. Now, if none of this applies to your situation, then don't do it. I mean, what the hell do I know? And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you could maybe hit that little button on your way out, it'd be much appreciated. Thanks for letting me share some of this stuff with you. I hope you guys have a great day. I know, I know, it's <laughs> better than hanging drywall, I guess. I got an itch. I got an itch. Hold on. Hold on. I got an itch. I mean, <laughs> it's, it, it's not that hard of a sentence. It's an easy sentence. I spit again. What the f***? Yes, I understand the title is a little bit suggestive. Genius. <laughs>